Pack a waste-free lunch by using reusable food and drink containers, utensils, and napkins. By packing your lunch, you save money and avoid disposable packaging. Okay, so we got called here initially because it was a loud party, and when they got to the door, um, they would have just warned them and told them to turn the noise and the music down, but they wanted to pretend like no one was home. So now all of these illegally parked vehicles are getting citations, and that's what's happening. I wrote three of them. Dyson wrote three. I know, I'm gonna write a few Gordon's too. writing a couple. So they're just being nut. Be yeah. One of them almost went to jail for half. They just think this is funny, so that's fine. Cost everybody a bunch of money. They don't want to park. Like Which one? Right there, the Honda. The Honda? Yeah. You're not parked with your wheels facing the curb. Yeah. When you're parked downhill, you have to have it parked at an angle facing the curb. It's a parking ticket. Can I change it? No. I already wrote the ticket. I mean, it's it's straight, and then like, I have my parking brake on as well. The wheels need to be turned towards the curb. It's straight though, like it's not turned the other way either. Right, turned in towards the curb. Right, right. right. So that's the vehicle code section. So all these other cars, they're turned the other way as well. Everybody's getting tickets. Yep. All we did, all we came for was to talk to you guys to get the music turned down and everyone to pretend like they weren't here. So now that's why we're doing this. Our car is quite straight and it's not quite I was just wondering, is that how I can see how your front wheels are like that? Right. That's illegal. See how these cars, these wheels turn to the yeah. curb? They're yeah. in your parts on a downhill. This Remember when you took your driver's test? That was one of the questions. If you parked on the hill, how should it be? Those wheels are straight. Those are pointing to the curb. So if your brake fails, the curb is going to stop. It's going to hit the curb. If you park uphill, you turn the wheels the other way, so it goes into the curb. Remember that was on your driver's side. Okay. Okay. So that's why you're being cited. Okay. Any questions? How much? How much? Oh uh, no, I think it's fifty dollars. Thank you. Okay. Good. I'm going to take your driver's test. How far are you supposed to be from the curb? Eighteen inches, right? No more than eighteen inches. Yep. You, this car right here. Yeah. So how much is this? Fifty dollars. Uh, you'll be notified in the mail. All this could be prevented if you would have just opened the door when we initially came. We're not here to shut down the party, we're just here to tell you guys, hey, keep it down, take it inside, let's not party out in the street, and we would, we would have been out of here. There's nothing wrong with having a house party, but if there's underage drinking and other stuff going on, then yeah, we have an issue. But now, we want to play games and not open the front door, so here we are, we're going to start towing cars and we're signing all these cars out illegally parked, expired tags, and all this other stuff, thanks to you. So you're going to have a bunch of friends that are going to be upset. Don't apologize to me. It don't make a difference to me. I'm just doing my job. But you have a lot of people upset because you wouldn't answer the door and now here we are. That's the only one. Completely irresponsible. Do you have any questions for me?
next time, just talk to the cops, they're just people. He's outside okay. now. Your cooperation, your cooperation is the best thing, right? You want to play the game, then we got to do other things, okay? We're leaving. Anybody have any questions? Sorry about everything. Thank you, wonderful day. Oh, there it is. Poor little, he's gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. We got you. We'll help. 43 out of 4 in 10 so. I bet we could probably bend those bars, huh? Here. Hey, uh, I'm gonna try to get this deer out of your fence, okay? Would you like to get in the other side of the fence? Uh, and let's see, does this fence bend at all? I, I think he's going that way. Uh, oh. Because I'll unlock the gate here. Yeah, yeah, why don't you all swim through and... Let me do that, yeah. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, no problem. Sorry about this. Here, I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm going to swoop on the other side and try to widen that gate up so we can get through. Okay, I got his back legs. He ain't going anywhere. Oh, that's good. Let me see what this is. Yeah, they're pretty... They're pretty, they're pretty far. How did he get... I wonder if you can pull him back through. Okay. Well, that ain't going to work. Nope. You want to get his get his legs out from under the gate. And if you get his legs mm. out from under the gate, I can't. He's heavy. Really? Ah. Can I get on the other side? Yeah, let's see what we can do. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can if we can pull if I can lift his hind ends up here more. Yeah. Hey, you're not just pushing through. Sorry, dear. There you there's, go. There's the skip. There we go. I'm trying out. And it's true. There you go. And away he goes. Maggie, Maggie, come. Come. Let's go. Come. There we go. Now that deer will kind of, I'm going to kind of funnel him out. Here you go. There we go. All right, he's going to hit that gate. There he goes. Yeah, I'm sure like what you guys do. And well, appreciate we appreciate you. appreciate your help and your what support. You do, so. and I didn't know you did this stuff, but oh, I we do everything. I didn't know who to call. <laughs> yeah, we do it all. So. Anyway, thanks so much. You're welcome. Sure Have a good the rest of your night, all right? Yeah, you too. Take, Take care. care. Okay. Uh, so we got caught up here for a um, for a deer stuck in a fence, right on our fence. Um, we were able to just kind of bend the bars a little bit, get the deer's hind legs out, and he scooted off, and then we just opened up a back gate, just funneled him out to freedom, basically. <laughs> All in a day's work? All in a day's work, there it is. Practice reuse on the go. Ditch disposable plastic bags and pack your snacks in reusable containers or washable wraps.